everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to lead you through a full body stretch for beginners. Today I have some yoga blocks with me. These are not necessary and you don't necessarily need yoga blocks. These are just items that are gonna help me support myself in different poses. So you could use books or whatever you have available to you at home. Also make sure that you have something soft beneath you and make sure that you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we're first gonna start off with our neck. You're gonna start by turning the head from side to side. You can hold it for as long as you want if the stretch feels good. Just make sure your shoulders are pressed down. Good, and up and down. and we're gonna tilt the head from side to side. Again, let those shoulders feel really heavy here. Good, and we're gonna hold on one side. Really feel this stretch, pull this shoulder away from your neck. And this hand on your head should not be super heavy, it's just there to provide some light pressure. Good, and bring those hands on top of your head. Contract downward. And you can kind of roll your head out here from side to side. Good, and release. Next, we're gonna try and open up those shoulders and that chest because a lot of us are always sitting like this, so it's important that we try to reverse that by stretching. So first, I want you to open up that chest by bringing the backs of your hands, or trying to bring the backs of your hands together. And then we're gonna come in and give ourselves a big hug. Good, and next time you're gonna bring this arm over, we're gonna stretch out that shoulder, press that shoulder down. Good, open up those arms again, and we're gonna bring our left arm across. Open up those arms and release. We're gonna head down to the ground. We're gonna be in a tabletop position. We're gonna start with one side. Fingertips are gonna be by the ears. You're gonna open up as far as you can. Then you're gonna bring that elbow to your other elbow. We're gonna do this three times. On this next time, we're gonna hold and you're going to do a big, deep breath. So inhale and as you exhale, you're gonna open up that back even more. And we're gonna hold here for a few seconds. Good, and release. Good, we're gonna do the other side. Bringing that elbow to the other elbow. We're gonna open, we're gonna do this three times.
Good, on your third, nice deep breath. Good, and release, coming back to tabletop position. You're going to extend those arms. We're gonna come into a puppy pose. So you're going to bring your chest and your shoulders down to the mat. Good, from here you're gonna roll through your spine and we're gonna come down into a cobra pose. Now I don't want you to force this, I just want you to try and let those hips feel heavy and then lift that chest up. And from here push back into a child's pose, reach those fingertips toward the top of your mat. Good, roll through that spine back into Cobra Pose once more. And push back. From here, slowly move into a tabletop position. You're gonna tuck the toes under and jump them towards your hands. From here, we're gonna bend and we're gonna do some forward folds. So you're gonna try and keep your chest close, as close as you can to your quads and we're just gonna hold for a few seconds. So we're gonna bend and stretch, bend and stretch. We're gonna do this five times, here we go. Good, last time we're gonna hold. Let that neck feel heavy. And we're gonna pedal out the feet here. So lifting one heel off the floor at a time. This is why I have my yoga blocks. So you can support yourself in this position. If your hamstrings are super tight, you can have your yoga blocks up like this, stretching out the hamstrings like so. You can have them down like this. This just helps you to really relax into the position rather than straining um, everything here and not being able to fully sit into that stretch. Good, big bend in the knees. We're gonna roll up through the spine. We're gonna do one more forward fold. This time, I want you to focus on keeping your back as straight as possible. So this is where I'm gonna need my yoga blocks. <laughs> we'll start like this. So I want you to think about hinging at your hips. Feet are about shoulder width apart. You're gonna hinge at the hips, almost like if you were to do like a deadlift. You're sending the booty back and the back is nice and flat. And you can walk your hands down your legs as far as you can until you really feel that stretch. If you can make it down to your yoga blocks with a flat back, perfect. And we're just gonna hold here. Remember to breathe, take nice deep breaths. Take a nice big inhale and on your next exhale, try and go a little bit lower if you can. Good, bend those knees. And we're gonna move into a center straddle position. So feet are nice and wide. And we're gonna stretch our legs here. Try and relax into this position. 
You can cradle your head here and we can rock from side to side. Good, place those hands on the mat. We're gonna work on opening up our hips and stretching out those inner thighs. So you're gonna bend one leg at a time. You're gonna feel that stretch in this inner thigh and we'll switch. You can hold it for as long as the stretch feels good. And coming back to center, big bend in those legs. Send the booty back up. Do this two more times. Good. You're gonna sit down on the ground. Next up, we're gonna come into a butterfly pose. So bottoms of your feet are together. You're gonna to try and bring them in as close as you can to your body. And from here, same thing as when we were doing the forward fold, I want you to try and keep a flat back. So that means you have to be sitting on the top of those sit bones. So from this position, it's really easy to kind of sit back on our hips like this and look at how far my knees can, can fall open. Looks like I'm super flexible. But when I lift my booty up and send it back, so I'm sitting on top of those sit bones and I have a flat back. I feel a stretch more in my hips and obviously my knees can't fall as far open. So we're gonna hold this for a few moments. If you wanna increase this stretch here, you can place your hands on your knees just for a little bit of extra resistance. Do not press down, just kind of place them there. Good, from here, we're gonna swivel this back leg around. So we're kind of in this zigzag position. We're gonna move into a modified pigeon pose. So both of your legs should be at 90 degree angles. And again, sit on top of that sit bone or sit on top of that hip. So you should really feel that stretch in your hip. If this is a good of enough stretch for you, then you can totally just hold here. If not, you're gonna walk yourself down. Again, you can also use a yoga block here to hold yourself up. And we're gonna hold here. Good, slowly walking yourself back up. We're gonna swivel our legs around to the other side. Again, make sure that your legs are at 90 degree angles and then you're sitting yourself on top of that hip. And then from here, again, try and keep that flat back. You're gonna walk yourself down.
Good, slowly walking yourself back up. Bring those legs out of it. We're gonna come into a lunge. So you're gonna bring one leg forward. You're gonna sit deep into this lunge. Let this back leg um, be bent and toes are untucked. You're gonna let your hips sink down into this lunge. And then we're gonna try and stretch out that hip flexor a little bit more. So bring that same arm up. And you're gonna reach it up and over. Good, bringing both hands on either side of the foot. We're gonna sit back into this position. If you can only go as far back as here and you feel that stretch in your hamstring, cool, hold it there. If not, you're gonna try and stretch that leg and flex those toes. And again, you're hinging at the hip, keeping this back nice and flat. forward and we're going to switch legs. So sitting into this lunge, bringing one arm up and over. Bringing the arms down, sweeping through, stretching out that hamstring, draw that hip back, flat back. Good, coming out of that, we're gonna come down on our backs. You're gonna bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. As close as you can. And you're gonna let those knees slowly fall to the sides. If this feels good, you can hold this. If not, we're gonna move into happy baby. So grabbing those toes and just letting those knees sink to either side. Good, bring those knees back into your chest. We're going to extend one leg. So bring your right leg into your chest. Left leg is nice and long. And we're gonna bring that leg up and over and across. And your head should be looking in the opposite direction of that leg. Moving back to center, we're gonna do the other leg. So bring that left leg in, right leg is long. And bring it across the body.
good. Coming back to center. Bring those legs in. We're gonna sit up. This is our last stretch. It's absolutely pouring rain outside here at the studio, so I've got some nice ambience going on for me. We're gonna do a straddle stretch. So as far as you can get those legs open, if they don't open that far, that's fine. You can just keep them here. Use your blocks or whatever you're using. We're gonna hold this straddle stretch and try and open up those hips. So again, same thing, we're hinging at those hips, keeping our back flat and leaning over. If this is still too much, you can bend those legs, bring them a little bit in front of you and then also lean over. That's gonna also help to open up those hips. Good, slowly walk yourself up. Bring those legs in front of you, give them a little bit of a shake. That is it guys. That's a quick little beginner's flexibility routine. You can throw this into your weekly, more than weekly routine, I would say, if you wanna work on your flexibility. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Also let me know how you enjoyed this in the comments. And if you're new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.